Hi everyone, because uh, one of my jobs is to mark grade homework, um, I see a lot of errors and I thought it would be a nice idea to share with you some mistakes that I see quite often because, you know, we learn from errors. We learn from our mistakes. So I've compiled a top five, made a list of top five probability errors. So in at number five, we have statement like this a and b equals a plus b and now this is a confusion of notation intersection here means that a intersection b means that the elements of a and also elements of b so the common elements belong to a and b so it must mean that a and b must be at smaller than, no bigger than, A or B. But A plus B, is, if we can assume, what we assume here is that uh, he's adding all the elements in here and all the elements in here, that means the end product number of elements in A plus B is bigger than individually A and individually in B. So left hand side says that the new set is smaller than either A or B, whereas on the right hand side, the new set is bigger than A and bigger than B. It gets, gets bigger. So this that's a uh, wrong notation. But you, you can understand why people do this, because you know the thinking of and and plus is like and. So that's wrong. More generally, the mistake is this if we use intersection notation. intersection of n sets equal a1 plus a2 plus da 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 plus a n this line is an extension of this but for more than two sets for n number of sets this is from what we've described up here this is wrong okay in at 4 is the test, uh, not test, think of hypothesis testing. In that number four is uh, making mistake on the associativity rule. Now, A union B and C equal, and this is what the, the mistake is, A union B and C. Now, so basically you're, you're just saying instead of doing A union B first let's just move the brackets to round B and C right because recall that in the associativity law it says something like you know you've got three sets A, B, C and then something about brackets right equals A something B, C something about being able to shift brackets okay but now the associativity rule only works if you've got all unions between these sets or or all intersections between the sets. In other words, between the sets has to be the same operator. Okay, that is when you can apply this associativity rule. But here, you know, these operators are are different, that's a union and intersection. Okay, so we can't then just apply associativity to something like this. So this is wrong. Uh, this is correct. This is the t rule of so associativity rule. Okay, in that number three, what do we have here? It's this kind of statement. Probability of A union B is equal to probability of a plus B and then take the probability through the bracket A plus probability B. Okay now we have seen in lecture notes that I'm not saying that this cannot equal this it's how they've gone about it right so I know that this can equal to this in the case that A and B are mutually exclusive 
but this reasoning in the middle is is wrong isn't it because well sorry not there I mean the second inequal the second equality going from this line here okay first of all there's a conflict of notation in some textbooks though most textbooks I've seen they use union to mean you know members that belong to A or B or both some textbooks very few textbooks use plus to mean the same thing all right so all right so I'll accept that uh, but going from here to here they've just taken the uh, probability sign through the brackets okay and probability is not some kind of operator where you can just take it through the brackets it's not like summation sign where you can take stuff through the brackets or the expectation operator where you can take it through the brackets so when they go from this line uh, highlighted in blue they're thinking that probability is some kind of operator like the expectation operator you learn in stats or the summation operator you learn in stats and maths when I see that then I know it is wrong in terms of the thought process okay it's these kinds of mistakes that makes uh, teaching stats a bit more interesting you know because if students are getting the right answers all the time teaching stats would be boring now in at number two we have this relative a union b is equal to relative a so similar to the previous one we've done is this time they've taken the probability again through the brackets all right this is not very meaningful here probability of a is a number between 0 and 1 now, this is a number between 0 and 1 so what union says it's that number and that number in other words it's probability of a whatever that number is and the probability of b whatever that number is in other words i got two answers well that's not what this is saying probability of a union b should give me a single number anyway but main point here is that you can't take probability through the brackets this, so this is basically similar to the same as the previous one uh, this one I see so often very often okay so what do I have for number one in at number one is this suppose I ask you to write down the probability of events A only happening say sample space say A B, C are in sample space S then I want you to write down the notation for probability the event probability of event A only happening okay the answer I might see is this because this says probability of A happening doesn't it now this is wrong why because pro we're told that there are three sets within this well we're told A B and C are contained in S so let's say A B C right so this is A B C now we know probability of A would be the probability of this region here but now is that probability of A happening only you can see clearly from the picture is no because we have regions overlapping regions don't we we have overlapping regions between A C and A B and A B and C in the, in the right in the center so in other words this yes this here probability if you write probability of A happening that could that does not rule out also B happening along with A, C happening along with A, or both C and B happening along with A. In other words, you haven't got this probability event A only, only, you see, happening. If that word only isn't there, this would be correct, but it's because it's using the word only. So in other words, what it actually wants, if we had three sets, is probability of this bit, I've just shaded, this is A only. how about if I scrubbed out 
remove the set B and remove the set C as well. So I'll just say A is in sample space S. Now what? Now would this be answer probability of A be correct? Well it would be because you think about the picture Okay, we think about the picture here. This whole box is S. This whole circle is A. If we do probability of A now, that's exactly A only, isn't it? Outside here, all these dots is events not A happening. So they could be, you know, basically A complement, not A. Okay, so that's my top five if you kind of spot any other kind of errors that uh, you've made you might like to share with us uh, but uh, that's it from and uh, if you watch this video mind you don't make the mistakes that I've noted here okay I'm Phil statistics mentor